<laughs> this message is for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Check your chart. I know once you see that blank screen, you're going to be like, oh my God, where is Supreme at? Where is Supreme? Where is she? Okay. And I wish in some sort of shape, form, or fashion that... I can't even say I wish. I can take you to the water, but... I can't make you drink it. And not only is water significant, but milk is significant. Anxiety is significant. Um, you could have a Scorpio in your energy. The death card is significant. Um, and the number 10 is significant. 1010 portal. When we have these kinds of things going on, this is my way of... Um, just pulling back, I mentioned to you guys that on the partial eclipse, I did not leave or go anywhere. I didn't work that day. On the whatever eclipse we just had, I decided not to um, do any spiritual work that day and to only focus on myself. And I've decided today on this 1010 portal and see, the thing about it is that there's going to be some people that's like, there's not an actual portal. <laughs> numbers, numbers, numbers. Sacred geometry can be significant as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started in your energy. Some of you guys, if you have not experienced some form of anxiety, you will. Um, you're going to feel this definitely in your solar plexus area. For some of you, you probably may experience pickiness in eating since it's sitting right there at the belly. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or you could have dominant Virgo placements. Some of you guys may need to go get a checkup and see if you're having or maybe somebody you already have or this is an ongoing issue that you deal with. But I'm picking up on anxiety, okay? Um, anxiousness, okay? So you guys know I am the Supreme. You hear my voice loud and clear. I won't be doing my introduction. I am shuffling my channel messages right now. So let's go ahead and begin, okay? Something about photographs and pictures is significant. Hmm. I got my blank card. I'm going to listen to spirit. That's a note of pull from this deck. By the way, um, there's something you're going to need to be quiet about. That's the only time that um, that particular car shows up. There's something you're going to need to be quiet about. I'm also, hold on, I got some channel messages over here for you guys. You know what? Nope. I'm not going to do those channel messages. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Something about um, divination spying is sick. Oh, wow. I got to pick the phone up. All I said was there's something about divination spying that's significant. Look. Temperance in the Hermit. What I say about Virgo. So you got a Sag or a Virgo in your energy. Um, I could be speaking to a, um, a Sag Cappy. Somebody could be seeking out some sorts of truth. This could be yourself or somebody else. Somebody could be like thinking very, very hard. I'm picking up on somebody that's like, there's something that you could have said that really hit the head of a nail and somebody is doing their work. Someone is literally, um, someone could be Googling things. Um, someone could be also trying to figure out how you knew some sort of information. Um, I'm also picking up on a spirit, a ghost. Mm-hmm. 
What's behind this temperance? Justice. Okay. I knew it. Libra and energy. So there could be a Libra, a Sagittarius, or a Virgo cross-watching for the sign of Capricorn. Um, heavy on some sort of spirit or ghost balancing things out in your favor. If you're a high vibrational Capricorn, what's behind this justice? The Knight of Wands. Oh yeah. Well, whoever you are, you definitely have a, a spirit guide who is like, um, for some of you guys, a spirit guide passed away when they were younger. Or um, whoever this particular spirit guide is, they're very um, passionate about watching over you, about being in your energy. For some of you guys, maybe you've experienced something a little bit on the paranormal side where it's kind of like, um, maybe you've seen something, vision, dream, or actually with the eyes. The Fool. For some reason, and then this card um, flipped over the Three of Cups. For some reason, I really feel like there's something very important in this particular message. And it's just, it's crazy when I do my blackouts because um, a lot of times when I do my blackouts because the collective is so used to seeing my face that they can tend to be like, oh my God, where is she? Well, if I can't see her, you guys, whoever's watching me up to these seven minutes right now, 7.07 on the timer, thank you. Thank you for supporting me enough and trusting me enough that you understand that I don't do any kinds of manipulation with the cards. I honor and respect my work as a messenger that I don't have time to, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to manipulate cards. But I don't have time to play in your energy that way. I'm here to deliver messages. And I understand that if I try to manipulate the cards, manipulate the readings, that I can be held accountable in the spiritual court. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to have nothing to do with that, okay? Something significant about donuts. Someone could need to put a donut in their car. Someone could have experienced a flat tire or this is in the future tense. The full card and the three of cups is out here. Aquarius energy. With the six of wands. Okay, so Capricorn, right off the bat before I get any other cards out here. Something is significant. Oh, and if you could do me a favor... Drop me hashtag 1010. Something is significant about this day today. Some believe that the number 1010 is the new beginning of some things. Now, I could be speaking to a January the 10th Capricorn or um, whoever's cross-watching. You could be either a Libra, which is the 10th month. Or you could be um, anyone's birthday that's on the 10. Okay, but drop me... Um, a hashtag 1010 because there's something very mysterious about this reading and I'm telling you I can feel it inside of me only reason why I'm not on camera you guys is because I took that bun down <laughs> took that bun down y'all uh, it won't allow me to sleep on my back and I like to sleep in certain positions you know what I'm saying but anyways drop me that hashtag 1010 or some of you guys know hashtag is pound 1010 whatever but you need to take a chance. Whatever you have that is clever, take a chance at it. Some of you guys already have. There's a victory. I'm talking about like triumphant. Like you're going to surprise yourself with whatever this is, even if it's a victory of leaving a certain situation. It's time right now. And I can feel it inside of me. Some of you guys are going to be refreshed. You're going to be recharged. 
especially if you've been experiencing something like, I don't know, loss of appetite. Um, oop, child, that's a page of wands. Loss of appetite. Um, uncertainty. Right now, Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn. Transformation. Death. Rebirth. As well as transmutation so yeah this is a brand new idea you could feel very infantile when it comes to this you could feel some sorts of anxiety behind this decision you're making because it's a page it's brand new it's infantile but whatever this is it's going to be victorious maybe for some of you it's a new job. I just seen the um, eight, nine. Somebody could be born 1989. This is a new title. This is a new way of you coming out and really, really grasping and being who you are. I just seen the number 39. Somebody could be 39 years old in real time watching me. That's also the number 12. I, I could be speaking to a January 12th Capricorn. I've got the seven of swords with the queen of pentacles. So be aware of um, scammers, which I really feel like you're very aware of some sort of skip scam whammy type of bullshit. All right. Scam likely. And it doesn't even have to be over the telephone. At the bottom of the deck is the eight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you've got a scammer in your energy, but you're aware of it. Like you, you're seeing through right through something with the Queen of Pentacles being out here, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus energy. Um, this person could be a past person or this person is someone who's looking at your potential. With the Queen of Pentacles out here, the Queen of Pentacles is giving me um, go getter. I, I like the word hustler. Okay, but when I... Uh, think of hustling. I don't think of like a scammer, but it can be used in that kind of way. So someone could be trying to get in on exactly what you're doing, how you do it. This can even be someone at your job. Someone is hella nosy. Okay. Somebody is very, very, very nosy, which takes me to the fact that someone could possibly be doing some sorts of research on you. The strength card in reverse Leo energy. High Priestess. What's the strength card, please? I got Leo and Pisces out here. The Empress. Okay, but I'm going to say something to you real quick. Even though I clarified the High Priestess with the uh, uh, Empress... The Empress actually fell on top of the full card in the Three of Cups. Honey, it's time for you to step into your Empress energy. I know if you consider yourself to be an Empress, it's time to activate that energy. It is time for you to really walk in this Empress power right now. This fell on top of the full card, the Three of Cups, which is leading to the six of wands. That's the only way you're going to be victorious. This is going to require you to basically embody all four elements at the same time. This is how come it's important for you guys to look at your astrological birth chart. Do not stay with your sun sign. Some of you guys, you need to check your Taurus, your Libra, and your Pisces and your Leo placements. Find out what houses they're in. And once you find out what house they're in, then those are the areas in which are tightening up, but not in a bad way. But that you can begin to look at and say, oh, okay, Taurus rules the second house. What is in your second house? Taurus is material wealth, okay? Assets. It's ruled by the planet of Venus. Love, luxury, beauty. OK, checking your Libra placements. OK, Libra rules the seventh house. That is your relationships. Some of you guys, this full card, three of cups and six of wands has to do with 
a relationship in motherhood. Some of you guys, you're going to get pregnant. Now, others of you guys, your tubes tied. If you got men on pause, you know, because of age, this just has to do with stepping in a higher level position. Yeah, somebody doesn't think they can get pregnant. Somebody, or somebody thinks that they ain't going to have kids, but they're going to have them. Oh, yeah, that's that's I just seen something in the cards heavy on somebody thinking that they're not going to have kids and they get ready to have one. If it doesn't apply, then it's not you. I've got the six of cups coming out here now in reverse. Something is happening in real time with the Ten of Wands in reverse. You're going to also need to um, leave your past behind you. Someone's name is Clarissa. Someone's name is Valerie or Veronica. Um, you're going you're gonna to leave your past behind. This is someone, you're getting ready to take a chance. You're getting ready to take a leap of faith. And when you do it, you're going to like, it's going to be this very childlike part of you that um, for some of you, there's some sorts of childhood wounds you're going to need to leave behind. And I know it because of the full card being out here and the six of cups in reverse. Um, even if it's not childhood wounds, it's old debris from... past situations, abusive situations that occurred um, in relationships, but with the six of cups in reverse to the 10 of wands in reverse, this is a release of information. Uh-oh, did I say release of information? Hmm. I didn't mean to say that. That just came out of my mouth. There's something about a release of information. This could also be a mindset, but I'm not going to walk away from that release of information. That could be in the whole entire collective, universal, two of pinnacles in reverse. This is also some sort of um, emotional or mental imbalance. Somebody you're, ooh, there go the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody, your um, divine partnership is connected to your finances, as well as having this baby is connected to finances. Or stepping into this Empress energy as a single divine feminine, or an Emperor energy as a single divine masculine. Oh, I, you guys, I'm picking up, I'm, I gotta show you. Look. Right when I said that, the Wheel of Fortune jumped out. Sorry if it's not focusing for y'all. Why is that not focusing? Now I'm curious. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah. See, there goes that Empress card. It jumped on top of the Fool, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, this is a release of something. Okay, an imbalance. And then I said to you that this partnership or stepping into this Empress energy is going to be connected to your finances. Look at that. Competition around you. Yeah. I'm going to say this again, Capricorn. You need to be aware. That this relationship is going to cause some sorts of jealousy. Either your, your partner is connected to somebody else. Or. Um, and when I say connected to somebody else. This person could have children. Or they've, they're going through some sorts of things themselves in real time. Okay. And. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Someone could be spying on you right now in real time. Mm. Mm. Yep. Nine of sword, nine of wands just came out here. Who is this nine of wands? Please, who's this nine of wands? There's something you don't need to change about yourself, by the way. King of wands in reverse to the four of wands. I mean, four of swords. Wands and swords. Something significant about fire and air. Okay. Um, this is the second time that fire and air has came out in um, my readings. I'm not sure what other reading I was I was doing, but I mentioned, I said, ooh, something is burning and then there's air, there's wind blowing it. Um, that could have something to do with mother nature or some sort of event that's going to be happening, future tense. But um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or... I've got those signs cross-watching for a low vibrational Capricorn. Okay. Um, and what's crazy is that uh, whoever, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign that's trying to um, release some sorts of information regarding you. I'm just being honest. Like what I'm picking up is that somebody feels some type of way towards you. And how I'm getting that is with the nine of wands to the king of wands in reverse and the four of swords. Somebody sits back and they lay in bed and they think about you. For some of you guys, this person is doing sex magic on you. They are doing some sorts of astral projection into your energy especially if you've been feeling any forms of like sexual energy and you're like what the fuck all i'm doing is sitting here eating a bag of potato chips why am i having a throb if you're a masculine i don't know what to say because i don't know how the masculine body work because sometimes masculine's feeling that 24 7 maybe maybe not but there's some sort of like, whoever this masculine is, you're going to know who they are because they have some sort of, I want to say deficiency or they could be on disability. They could have a disability. Um, something is of dysfunction when it comes to this masculine. I just seen the word Paul or the name Paul. Another card with someone in bed, nine of swords. Someone don't sleep at night. Okay. Whoever this person is, they are literally feeling like there was a missed opportunity, feeling like there's something. What did, what did I do? What did I do? Somebody wants to know what they did. Mm-hmm. Drop me in the comments and tell me what this person did. Because somebody is definitely... And then this King of Wands is in reverse. Four of Swords to the Nine of Swords. Sagittarius. I think it's Gemini. With the eight of wands, the devil's at the bottom of the deck. You know what? Somebody either, like, somebody's playing stupid in your energy. Someone's playing, like, what did I do? Like, that Steve Urkel type of thing. Did I do that? 
yes, you just knocked every fucking thing down. Yes, you did that. But see, you need to be quiet and don't say nothing. Someone's playing stupid. In fact, whatever someone did, it's giving me um, someone that'll do something and they know that they caused chaos. They know they were wrong for something, but they're like, oh, what did I do that? And then secretly, when you're picking up the mess, they're snickering. Like, he, 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 devil at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another low vibrational ass Capricorn. Oh, there was my confirmation right there. By the way, it is Thursday, October the 10th, and it's 3.48 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Something is future tense. We've got the Eight of Cups and the King of Cups. <laughs> so, yeah, somebody wants to know why you left so quickly. What did you do? Like the Eight, excuse me, the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Um, so 8-8 eight, eight could be significant. 1988 could be significant. This could also be something that you did this year or somebody is sitting around like somebody knows what they did. But somebody's not willing to take accountability for what they did. Like they know what they did, but they're not going to please wake up Capricorn cross watcher. Don't. Don't stay asleep. Please wake up, which is probably a reason why I need to say that too, especially if you've been having some sort of internal battles and it doesn't have anything to do, it doesn't have to have anything to do with this. You're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to shake it off, especially if you've been dealing with any kinds of anxiety or emotional, because remember Pluto is in your, your son, your sign, your sign of Capricorn. OK, somebody's also speaking to other people and making themselves appear to be the angel. This doesn't have to be this particular person. This can be people who. They energetically know they're getting ready to get their asses kicked. Their spirit knows something's off. They're experiencing the imbalance of the Libra and scales. They're experiencing something in their seventh house with their relationships. And then they're sitting back in this bed thinking about you. Somebody sleeps with the television on. Okay. So we've got this king of cups here. The number 17 is significant. I could be speaking to a January 17th Capricorn. I've got the death card and the three of pentacles in reverse. Hey, guess what? <laughs> And day something. Somebody ain't listening to somebody no more. Somebody's repeating something over and over again when it comes to you. And there's some people who do not want to hear that shit. Someone's last name is Cooper or someone's first name or a pet name or Cooper. Someone could live on Cooper Street. Something significant about Cooper. Shit, King Koopa, King Cooper, Mario Brothers. I don't know. Anyways, um, my King of Cups is my Scorpio car, so heavy on the Scorpio energy, but it could be any water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But like, there's some people with this Three of Pentacles in reverse that's like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to like. It's giving people who are, who don't want to hear what the fuck somebody else got to say. We're going to get a couple more cards and then I'm going to go ahead and switch decks. I just seen the Ace of Swords. It did not fall out though. Mm, what's this? The Emperor. With a Judgment card. Okay, there's another thing too that I'm getting ready to tell you how you're going to know who this, this divine partner is. Because this divine partner getting ready, when you open up and when you tell that your truth about what's going on, but this doesn't mean that you meet somebody on the first date or you meet somebody immediately. 
it's unhealthy to discuss all of your burdens all in one. Now, for some of you guys, it's going to work perfectly fine. But for others of you, be very careful. If this is a new person, um, even if it's a past person, be careful with pouring everything into another person's cup. Because to be honest with you, that's disrespectful on your behalf. Because when you pour into people's cup, it's a lot of your past emotions and it can feel like vomiting in someone's lap or vomiting on the table they're sitting in front of. But here's how you're going to know who this divine partner is. This person's going to be so strong in their masculinity that they are going to basically tell you how fucked up you really were treated. Like they're going to be so good to you. This emperor in reverse with the judgment, in, the emperor in the upright and the judgment in reverse, they're going to really, really show you how fucked up things really were in your life. Like they're going to be the person that's going to say, damn. And it's going to be something in their voice, their opinion, that's going to also help you heal. Because maybe you're still kind of like, you know, Still hurt by a lot of things. Still in disbelief. A lot of you guys have done quite a few, uh, a lot of healing. But I've also spoken to you, Capricorn or Cross Watcher, and I told you, you're going to know when you're healed from a situation because you can have a conversation. Um, there's a pissed off Pisces in your energy. You can have a conversation and um, not feel any sorts of emotions with the conversation. OK, and even if you feel some sort of emotion, it doesn't linger for very long. There's something about your north node that is significant. OK, so all I'm doing now is I'm going into the other half of the channel messages deck and I'm just going to get some messages out of here. OK, those cards fell. Well, that was too many of them. Way too many of them. I don't like the way the shuffling sounds on a regular, on like tables. It's something about the earth energy inside of me where I really like to kind of be seated on the ground and shuffling and so forth. Someone's name is Carol. Something about an orangish or red dog. I know that's a weird color for a dog, but I'm just, I don't know if it's a stuffed animal or something. And I am picking up something about Raggedy Ann. And something about red hair or yawn. Okay, I'm going to keep it here. Scheming and take herbs for immunity. Let's channel. Somebody's desperate to prove their point when it comes to their side of the story and you. Capricorn, when you receive this new um, refreshment of energy, so let's say you are dealing with some sorts of internal combativeness. Let's say you're dealing with something on the job. Let's say you're dealing with, I don't know, whatever. We all, every single human being has their moments, okay? You will also be receiving downloads and revelations about situations too, okay? Something significant about your crown chakra. Some of you guys could be suffering like stress headaches or something. I did mention stomach. Maybe some of you guys haven't been eating um, the right foods or you've been waiting too long to eat and you end up with a headache. Um, but somebody's desperate to like prove a point. OK, remember, whoever this person is speaking to, people are tired of hearing this shit. Someone's tired of people, somebody. You're tired of them. And there's a need to take herbs for immunity. Now, the reason how come I feel like this is super important is because um, last night I was channeling kitty cooties. OK, 
Um, now, I did a live, the same live that I mentioned to you guys that there was going to be some sorts of water, contaminated water or something. And somebody um, did a reading with me and I was telling this person, be careful of kitty cooties. And um, that was for that person, okay? I Whatever, I've since then walked away from the reading or whatever. But yesterday I was channeling um, kitty cooties, like wintertime kitty cooties. But I wasn't just channeling it for like school age children I was also even channeling something with even the teenage community as well if you have children that's just a heads up there could be a need for you to stock up on herbs or like um I mean we are entering into colder seasons so there could be a need for you to do something to protect your immune system speak to your doctor I'm not one right behind that is just beat it yeah, there's going to be some, somebody's going to get, um, this is giving me like a household, like a, a group of different people, one person getting sick, then another person getting sick. I'm also picking up on some of you guys having some sorts of sinus issues or allergy issues in real time. Um, that could even be cross watching energy. Okay. Yeah. I can't look at this. Look at this. Look what just came out. I said, I'm picking up something about community or a household. Okay, so there's something about like someone. Mm -hmm. Something significant about kitty cooties. Only one card, please. All right. Up. Oh. Midwest. Detox. And you have lost a lot. Somebody could be detoxing their body to lose weight. But I'm also picking up materialistically. Somebody's lost a whole lot. Somebody could have lost their home. Lost a family member. Um... Someone could be grieving a family member in real time right now. Um, something significant about the Midwest. Someone could be from the Midwest. Um, and then I mentioned North Node because that card had fell out. Something about the northern part of the United States. Some of you guys could live up north or something about the Midwest is significant, okay? There's somebody in that area that you may know or that you live in those areas. Somebody's doing some scheming. Somebody's really desperate to prove a point. They're very desperate to prove a point. And whoever this is, they're playing stupid. They're acting as if um, they didn't do anything wrong. They're, they, and the thing is, is like, if you didn't do anything wrong, then shut the fuck up and keep going. This person won't shut the fuck up. They do shit like sit down and they'll just start talking to a complete stranger and be like, what do you think about this? And it's like the stranger's like, I don't know. Or the stranger ends up talking about something completely different graveyard or dirt magic so somebody does um use graveyard dirt for some sort of and then triumph and then scheming is here someone uses some sorts of graveyard dirt for their um, purposes of magic okay so someone could be working with the dead or working with spirits okay but whatever the scheming, the scheming card came back out, you guys, but the triumph card is on top of it. You're still going to win over whatever somebody's trying to, or something about some information coming out, some sort of information is significant. Okay. Those are my last two cards. Last three. Child water came out here. Invisible. And don't eat at that table. Okay, so there is something about water coming out here again.
someone's trying to serve you something and it's you don't eat it. I'm so sick of this because the last Capricorn reading I did, it was don't pick up the phone. <laughs> Don't answer the email. Don't open the email. Don't answer the text message. Well, this time there's something in regards to water and the invisible and it don't eat at that table. So this is telling me that there is someone two faced in your energy. For some of you guys, this is a past friend. For others of you, this is a warning about this energy. This is the second Capricorn reading where this kind of you could have been warned about this person. Someone's extremely jealous of you, okay? Um, let's get some ancestor messages. We're already at 40 minutes, but I don't mind. Let me drink some water. Even with the water message coming out and invisible and then detox, something about water is significant. And uh, you know what's crazy is um, I did my um, air sign reading for the sign of Libra. And when I got to the Libras, I started drinking some water and I was saying how like, oh, you know, I don't know why, but I'm getting all self-conscious about chemicals being in water and I feel like I don't want to drink out of plastic bottles anymore. And there were some of my um, subscribers who were dropping messages saying stuff like, yeah, you should drink out of like a copper cup or things like that. But something about water is not sitting well with me. Figuratively. Somebody's complimenting you and your energy. Someone's going to give you a really cool, like a beautiful, beautiful, warming compliment. But yeah, there's definitely somebody wearing a mask. Somebody also talks to their children about you. Yeah, someone talks to their children about you negatively. Yes, Capricorn. They talk about their children. Of, yes. got a, a beautiful partnership and if it's not a partnership coming up for you you've got some sorts of triumph coming your way the griot the griot in this particular deck is i'm just gonna make sure because i know for sure it's the sun card but i want to make for sure because last time i called it the chariot and i don't want to say the wrong thing It's the sun. I knew it. Leo energy. All right. Happiness. The number 10 is also a number of perfection, by the way. Enigma, the unknown. And the in root of earth. Oh, wow. You could be a reader or you're going to receive some sorts of tarot reading that is going to really, really ignite you or confirm something that you need to hear. This could be this reading. It don't have to be from me. It could be from anybody, okay? There's something that you're not able to see that a reader or a spiritualist is going to be able to expose to you. There's also something that's gonna make you very, very happy. Once again, you, you can't see whatever this is. I can't help but notice that this is saying 4-4 four, four up here. 4-4 four, four equals 8. Right now, we're in 2024, which is the number 8. There's something that whatever this clever idea you have, you need to do it this year. Start it this year. Something's also significant about cinnamon. At the bottom of the deck is the mother of air, boundaries. You're going to need to make sure you're creating lots of boundaries with this, okay? Leo, Libran energy, okay? Um, yeah, somebody you may need to get a reading. And you don't have to get it from me. I'm not trying to do it like that. But if you care to get it from me, you sure can. And then I just look down at my phone and it's at 44 minutes. 
the root of fire in reverse. Hmm. Let's keep going. Somebody know they need to sit their ass down. Somebody need to sit their ass down. They need to take a seat. Hmm. Ooh, I knew it. Root of Fire is basically like a page of wands in reverse. And then there's the shadow, trials and tribulations. Okay. Somebody knows to back off of you. Like somebody literally knows to back off of you. I wish I could just sit here and say... Like if someone's been doing something behind the scenes, doing magic, they're upset, they're angry. First of all, I want to let you know that they could be working with the dead, like spirits and so forth. Okay. But on top of that, this particular person, um, they something inside of them is telling them not to fuck with you. Yeah, something's telling somebody not to fuck with you. Mother of water. Could be a water sign. And water signs have been very heavy in this energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But my mother of water is a Pisces. And um, whoever this particular person is, they lack emotions. Whether it's a mother, whether it's a father... Someone knows not to fuck with you. Someone's experiencing trials and tribulations because they already have fucked with you. <laughs> 